Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. This is a follow-up to my last video looking at the Magic Square farming layout. That one didn't quite pan out, but it seems to have opened the floodgates, and now the hunt is on in the comments to suggest other possible farm layouts or ways to improve it. A really common suggestion was to look at what happens with the efficiency of the Magic Square if we slide four of the farms closer to create the Magic Age. It abandons a bit of the aesthetic, but could it be efficient enough to dethrone the pinwheel or double-layered farms? And what if we instead lean the H in the other direction? Does that make any difference? I think we'll have to check it out. First of all, just to recap, the 12 farm pinwheel and doubling up gave about the same gather rate, and ended up being more efficient than the magic square or randomly placed farms in both practical tests and from a theoretical calculation. But let's slide some of the farms in on the magic square to get a left-leaning H. How does this compare? Well, as we should expect, it of course does better than the Magic Square, and pretty convincingly, I think, up until you get Handcart, after which all of the farm layouts we've seen are comparable for unrelated farm mechanic reasons. I then tried it on the other orientation as a right-leaning H, and got slightly better numbers, both before and after Wheelbarrow, though I only tested each case for 7 minutes, so there is going to be some randomness, and it's hard to say if they're truly different. Comparing them to the pinwheel and doubling up, the results are again quite promising, and they're right in line with those, again of course with just a relatively short test. To hopefully clean up some of that randomness, I then check the average distance that each farmer has to walk to drop off their food. Similar to the last video, I measured the direct distance from the center of the 2x2 part of the farm that the farmer actually uses. For the left leaning H, it ended up being 2.524 tiles on average. That is, if we take a villager dropping off their food at a random time, on average they walk approximately that far. Unfortunately, that's still more than the pinwheel and the two layered farms, though we're getting really close. If we look at the right leaning H, which performed a bit better in the 7 minute test, as we should probably expect, it's the same 2.542 tiles. For an intuitive explanation of why it's identical, when switching between the two, you're taking four farms and moving them out one tile, and moving a different four farms in. The fact that both H's should be identical in walking time means unfortunately the differences we saw before in collection rate are probably just random noise, and both should be a tiny bit worse than doing the inner 8 spiral and adding additional farms from there, again either in the pinwheel or doubling up fashion. But the magic H wasn't the only suggestion. Another one was what was presented to me as the shuriken design. It certainly looks fancy, and it was claimed this is as good as the magic H. There's of course a clockwise and counterclockwise variation, and testing both versions I got comparable results with the Magic Age. So again they seem to be pretty solid layouts, and certainly contenders, though maybe a little time consuming to lay down perfectly in a real game. The question though is how the theoretical walk distances compare to the 2.524 of the Magic Age. Before I tell you, just think about it for a second. Which one seems to have its farms closer on average? Compared to the H design, the four corners are in the same spots, and both have four farms immediately touching the town center, and four that are a tile away. It might not be too surprising then that they're actually identical in terms of average walking distance. As an illustration, to turn the magic square into an H, you need to move four farms in on opposite sides. To get the shuriken, you still move four farms in, but just do it with every second farm instead of in pairs. Either way you do it, you have four farms that are one tile closer to the town center. That explains why they ended up with such similar results. In an abstract sense, they're all just doing the same thing. So while I would say all are pretty good layouts and certainly better than the magic square, they're still not improvements on the pinwheel or doubling up if we're assuming 12 farms. If we extrapolate outwards as well, as the number of farms gets larger, you'll find the fewer gaps you have the better, so I really don't see a good reason to try larger numbers. At the same time, once you get handcart, the differences between reasonable layouts start to disappear. As you might have noticed, in all of the arrangements, they seem to cap out at 24 food per minute anyway, though of course you will start to see that drop off in really extreme cases. Overall, I think the preference of farmers to stay on the left side of their farm presents just enough asymmetry to make it tempting to play around with different layouts that exploit that in some clever way. But again, conventional wisdom seems to be winning out, and just placing farms as close as possible to the town center with no gaps still looks like the best call. That's all for this one though. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.